from me. And they try to buy your pretty heart, but price too high. Baby, you can't get like Apple. Your love will not fall apart. So you can't put me again and throw me against the wall. Baby, you can't get like Apple. So, Dr. Heavenly is forcing Carlos King to talk about the RP. Now, he don't want to, but she going to keep adding about how Martel is wrong and how he know that Martel is wrong. She's going to stay at him. He don't want to. He don't want to talk about it. He's trying to grin his way out of it. But Dr. Heavenly is not letting her. She wants him to acknowledge that Martel is out of order. Here's Dr. Heavenly and and uh. Huh? They are kissing guys, but you I think they have goals on the side? I mean, you know, previously on your show, that's what they were trying to portray. Now, I don't know everything alleged. I know people that walked up to me and said they used to be with certain people on your show, but I ain't got nothing to do with it because this ain't even my show, so I don't really care. Who has walked up to you? Are, like, like people on your, Listen, on your, your show? Your show is still running, it's still on air, and we still filming, so I ain't going to say, okay, so we're going to leave it alone. But anyway, but I'm saying seriously, people have come up to me, and I think that you know some of the men on, you know, are men. You know what I'm saying? So you know, people always trying to come up with some stuff, whether it's true or not. But my problem with your show is, to me, this is just me. This is just me. Martino just look like he lying. I'm sorry, I don't even know the story. He just look like he just be lying to me. Like I really do think, and I heard this. I've never seen this with my own eyes. So all this shit is alleged, and all of this hearsay. But I'm almost positive that somebody told me they saw a vlog where they say Coleslaw saw the video. So now he's talking about what video, where is it at? Where is it? Well, Martell, stop. Just stop. Stop it. Yeah, so allegedly um, uh, there is, I guess, a video or audio out that apparently she allegedly says she's seen it. And again, it's one of those things where we follow the reality of what's going on and how people address it. So when he was talking to Nell about it, he really did make it seem like he mentioned it but was never going to do it. But that's why what you and I talked about last week in the sense of even threatening. You see, he's still trying to soften it up for uh, this man. Yeah. He told told her that he didn't mean to say it. To do it is still not great. It it just it's, it just still is, it's, it's, it's still not it's still not good to do that. It's not a good thing to even suggest it, especially when that's the mother of your children. So regardless if you mention or not, there are just certain things you shouldn't say as it relates to something that private that happened and something so intimate. And at the end of the day, she's a public figure and the mother of your children. Now, not only that, he keeps playing with a timeline. Like, okay, this happened two years ago. She made it clear that she had put in that, that arrest uh, warrant for his arrest a while ago. And it took almost a year for them to pick him up, like the day before y'all started filming. Now, I still don't understand that, okay? But okay. He went but, down. Yeah. yeah. But, he went down yeah, he went while y'all were filming the first day. But what I'm saying to you is, you know Melody ain't lying. She would not put out that it was a sex thing. I mean, you, you, you got to just look at the facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not an attorney, but I'm a mother and I'm a wife. I know when people lie. It just looks like to me that Martel doesn't take anything seriously. It looked like everything fucking funny to him. And he just gets a kick out of just lying. That's what it looked like to me. Now, you have met him a few times. When you first met him, what was your initial reaction to him? Now, you already know, when I first saw him, I said, Melody, I don't even know y'all. I don't know y'all at all, but he looked like a hoe. Is y'all storyline him cheating? That's the first thing that came out of my mouth. Wait, wait. You said that yeah, before even knowing this show or watching it? Yes, I had never seen them before in my life. I met them at, I want to say it was Estes or somewhere. They were at an event. And I said that to Melody. I said, listen, he looked like a hoe. Is he cheating? And she said, yes. She said, yes. She said, yes to me. And then my whole thing is that 
just I don't know. They just but no, I didn't actually guess. Because apparently you 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 have good discernment. What was it about him that made you feel instantly he had whole energy? You know I'm a mama, right? And you know when my daughter bring home dudes, you could just tell my mama could tell, your mama could tell, your mama mama can tell. When a dude ain't no damn good, you could pull the dude up in my house up and say, Look, Lord, don't bring it. You could tell I'm telling you so discernment with wife, mother, just female. You can tell the only people that can't tell is the people that sleeping with them because they don't want to see it. But everybody know men that ain't no damn good. For example, you can see that Moses ain't no damn good. You can see it. Now he's trying to be some good. Now this is the question I have for you because I don't know the answer. What does study do? Because Moses seemed like the dude on a, on a come up. You see what I'm saying? And we know that Destiny had some financial problems just from they saying Melody gave us the money. They saying now Moses gave us the money in August. Okay, Sunny even said she sent us the money. So she didn't have no money. So he didn't want her in. Okay? What do Sunny do? Now, you know what? <laughs> Dr. Emily has to do this man job for him. Go ahead on, Dr. Emily, because he don't seem to have the courage or he just don't care. Do his job for him. Well, do Sonny got some money? <laughs> you are. <laughs> I don't know. Because these men worse than women when they looking for women. They, they looking for the same shit we looking for. Well, look, 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 Let's have a real conversation. Now, look, I'm going to answer your question about study, but I want to get to this first. We know a plethora of women, some of your cast, who date men who have money, right? It is common knowledge that a lot of women, not all, a lot of women desire a man who has money so that she's able to live a comfortable lifestyle, right? Right. Absolutely. Okay, 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 okay. Is there a problem if a man chooses to be with a woman who has more than him because he wants that same soft life like some of you women have? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a dumb right. fucking standard. I'm going to tell you every day because the man is supposed to pray provide and protect. The man is supposed to be the red one. And listen, we're going to get married. God dang it. We got to listen to the Bible because it's a biblical thing. Listen, if y'all want to get married, y'all want to just live together and y'all have sex and do whatever that's fine. When you get married, the man's supposed to be the bread one. And he ain't supposed to be looking for somebody that's baking bread. He's supposed to bring the bread to the table. You go, and you're asking the wrong person because it's okay for a woman to do it. I'm looking for you to get access to the money. I want you to get access to the money. But the man, for me, that's why I'm asking what do study do because I don't know shit, but I'm just going by what I Will Marto be dragging all of his castmates in court like he did before? Y'all know he had the Fletchers said that they were subpoenaed without their knowledge. We know about destiny. Allegedly, all, this is all alleged. What about Tisha and my soul? Now, my soul has been an ally for for uh, Martel all this time now. Now, while he is allies with this man on the street, will he be allies with this man in front of a judge? Cause, cause, Cause you know one thing, seems like he's trying to start some beef with Martel, so he Martel won't look at him as an ally and he will not be dragged to court. So, before you drag somebody in court, you're going to make friends with that person, right? You're going to make friends with that person before you drag them to church, to court. And I'm thinking about Arian, how now all of a sudden we see him with Arian a lot. He's he, We've been seeing him out with Arian a lot, which is what we haven't seen. So, could it be he's making ally with her because if she don't be drugged to court, Maybe, you know, whatever he's facing charges, he can put it off on him. Should the should, should Martel uh, 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 drag his family in court, like his mother, his brothers, and anybody else in court? But knowing his mind, he, that's what he do. You got to be on my side. What about Carlos? 
Well, Carlos, Carlos always gonna cape up for Martel. Well, he drag him in court. Make friends quickly with your opponent at law while you are with him on the way. And he and and, and uh, that's what he's doing with coleslaw. Uh, Martel has made great friends with her. He's love bunning her on his way to court. But in order that your opponent may not deliver you to the judgment, instead of him trying to be friendly with, with who he's supposed to be, his baby mom, right? He might get thrown in prison because he's trying to be friendly with the wrong person. You know what he said. When she go low, I go lower. And ain't nobody go lower than you, Martel, right? You have been separated. You have been divorced from your wife all these years, and you still trying to prove that this woman is wrong for divorcing you. All this conflict going on in this divorce is, is initiated by Martel. This domestic, he's a domestic abuser, y'all. He can't control his ex-partner no more, so he try to control her through the legal system. But it backfired on him. Yeah, Martel dragging all his castmates in court. Yeah, what was what was she gonna do? Allegedly, allegedly Destiny was summoned to court. That at that time, Destiny was going through court issues herself. And then allegedly teacher was summoned to court, according to dragged to court by Martel, y'all. So we see that. Miss uh Miss Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly wanted this man to be held accountable. Carlos tried to laugh at all. This man is an abuser. He's been legally illegally now said that he's an abuser. Commun he's been convicted on communicate uh communication harassment, y'all. This man starts so much conflict everywhere he goes, everywhere he goes. But most of the time, the conflict is with his ex-wife. And for the life of me, Miss Fletcher sit up there and try to pretend like, you know, she don't know what's going on when she is the one that have been there uh, uh, coercing the situation between uh, um a uh, coercion, a uh, counselor, whatever you want to say, between Martel and and uh, Miss Fletcher, Martel and his ex-wife. Now, now he has definitely been using this court case against the victim, which is is uh, Melody. She's the victim, so I want to see. This is quite interesting. That that um, interview. That interview to me is it, it is um, no way um, Martel trying to weaponize that interview. The interview with, that Martel does that goes around shopping for different content creators to fit his need. He's trying to weaponize the court. He's trying to weaponize the court that Melody is the domestic abuser and not him. Would he be dragging all of his his love and marriage, Huntsville, uh, castmates to court with him simply because they have always rolled with him. They have always taken up for him. Kimmy, Kimmy, yeah. Kimmy say he's a good guy. Those are the kinds of testimony that, that a lawyer loves to hear about their uh, client. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Y'all, do y'all remember she was saying that he was stalking her on the phone also? He called the house a hundred times or more, and she keeps just, stop calling here. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. She will hang up in his face. He will call back. He will email. He won't. Oh, man. It, it, that's enough to put you in a state of panic. It's enough to have you uh, having PTSD with the man. This man harass her. And then the court had the nerve to tell her, well, it's wrong for you to do that. 
I don't know if the court heard all the charges, but she was saying that he was not calling her for the children. He was calling her because he was trying to get back with her. He was calling her because he was worried about some other man being over there in that house. Yeah. I'm never going to give my ex that number anymore. That's what she was trying to tell them. I don't want to give my ex my phone number. He's stalking me. Oh, wow. Well, I've been broke up with this man. I've been divorced with this man for four years now. He's still stalking and harassing me ever since. The harassment even been taking place in the courtroom to where allegedly he's been acting up in the courtroom. The harassment been taking all in place at the schoolyard, allegedly, to the school system had to put him off that campus. But these people right here on Love and Mary Huntsville has helped him, right? They have helped him victimize this woman, right? So now, now, I think my soul trying to get out of going to court. My soul trying to make sure that he's not going to be an ally or he look at him as an ally or he look at his wife as an ally with this court issue. So he's on there just dogging and dragging this man. And I must say, I do agree with my soul, the things that he said. Now, Going back to what we just saw, Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly, like, don't you see this man is victimizing this woman? Carlo. Carlo. And then she did ask him about that, that, that Uncle Pastor's, uh, Uncle Pastor, uh, being arrested. He got to laugh. He want to laugh at all. She, she got to constantly drill Carlos because Carlos do not want to talk about that show other than the, that, that they are a successful people. That's what he wants the world to see and know. But that's not the reality of this show. The abuser always used the court system against the victim. And this time, the victim is Melody. Oh, my soul, don't act like you don't know that Melody ain't been no victim. You just all of a sudden, since this issue is going through court, this RP going through the court, now you have a revelation that Martel was wrong with what he did to his ex-wife and, and children, and you don't want no parts of it. Coming from you after you done help him, you done help this man destroy his family. I know I would say 99.5, percent of it is it, it, it's this man's fault. But a lot of things that you did, you did, you helped this man, even your wife helped this man. The whole cast, all of y'all helped him. So why die he, he gonna think that y'all gonna help him in court? Because y'all been helping him. Y'all been covering up for him. Is he gonna drag? All his castmate in court. Stay tuned. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, you guys, y'all stay tuned for my hearing is June the 17th at 2 o'clock. That's when my hearing is at. That's all I can tell y'all. <laughs> Dragging your friends in court. Or do you really have any friends? Everybody up there. All they got to do is pull up everybody on that show uh, mug shot. Now, these two new couples, they probably got mug shot too, y'all. Oh, Lord, this is love and marriage. Love and Huntsville lock up. Love and Huntsville dragging your friends to court. Love and Huntsville dragging your ex to court. In this case, he was trying to use the court uh, uh, against her, and it backfired on him. Now, Miss Fletcher now. Oh, Lord. I'm going to go to Miss Fletcher at the next one. The next one. Taylor, who we have next on the stand? Judge Judy? I identified the Fletchers as next on the stand. Yes, Miss Fletcher. 
I understand. I'm going over my document. I understand that a uh, Martell's called you, uh, drug you into court. I do understand that this is a high conflict divorce case. What we really see in here is one party who is drawn towards conflict, which is your ally, Martell. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold, 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 hold. Wait a minute, Bela. Bela, look, 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 look what I got on it. Oh, well, what a pleasant surprise. Fletcher, the Fletcher's got two sons in here also. Should we just go ahead on and knock that case out first before we do the uh, high conflict divorce case? What you think, Bela? Yeah, there's two of them in here. One of them is drunk driver, and one of them uh, has something to do with some tires, Your Honor, allegedly. But I just wanted, I just want to hear before we go on to the uh, court case, uh, the uh, on her sons. I like to know uh, why you decide that you were going to come to court and be this man ally, Miss Fletcher. Yeah. Uh, we know that this man has been exerting his power, dragging his ex-wife back and forth into court repeatedly, Miss Fletcher, Mr. and Mr. Fletcher. Repeatedly, he has been dragging his wife back and forth, and, and, and he just and all you're doing when is create more complication for Melody, his wife, because that's what it is. The problem is one member of the couple is just creating a whole lot of opportunities to drag the other person it back and forth into court. And this case is the ex-wife, Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher. She's suffering, Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher. Well, what do you have to say about that, Miss Fletcher? She's been online, you know, calling Mel a side chick, I guess, and, you know, saying a lot of trash about her. And so to hear that their loved one is publicly saying so much about them, I've been there. So I know what that hurt feels like. So, uh, Mrs. Uh, oh, 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 didn't she sweet? Your Honor, Your Honor, this is, I, I am a, I am a, Attorney Clark, Your Honor, and that was the wife. She has been counseling the wife, and the wife has a soft spot in her heart for Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher, Your Honor, but they seem to support the abusers, which is her husband. He wants to drag this case and relinquish this case on and on and on to make her suffer, Your Honor. Domestic, he's a domestic abuser, Your Honor. I am uh, Attorney Clark, and that is my client, and she loves her so much. She will have a soft spoken for Miss Black, yeah. Yes, Beta, Beta, Beta. Uh, do you see them sons in the well? Get them sons, because they're next. They're next to sons. You have to go in the hallway, get them sons, and bring them up here, because I see that those sons are on this docket next. The Fletchers. A lot that was a lot. Okay. It was a lot that was made up. Uh -huh. Yes, he was married. Did I know he was married? No. So I never been nobody side chick. What she did not say was that they were separated going through a divorce. When I first seen the Lexi interview, it pissed me off more than anything. Order in the court. Order in the court. Order in the courtroom. This is not what we're talking about. You trying to distract. Who cares about sad chick over here, the sad chick award, sad chick, sad that's not why we y'all hold on. So, so you can make like it's somebody else's. You get what I'm saying? That's what? Well, it is very long. I took the evidence to the magistrate and they issued a warrant. They issued it. I'm like this. I believe in divine timing. I believe. 
Yes, I did. I sure did issue that one. I remember that case. So uh, Mr. Hoax is dragging the mother in, in, in here in court available? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The mama is here and the daddy is here. But this is the son right here. She's been trying to distract, distract from the real thing. So we decided to do the divorce case a little later and try and, and get this little misdemeanor with our son. Out. Okay. Let's just finish hearing what the mom has to say. Run that video. In divine alignment. Once I did my part, I said, God, when it's supposed to happen, whenever it's supposed to happen, when it's supposed to happen, I'm going to let you have it. You know how I feel about a black man going to jail. Well, I feel more like a black man. I, 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 I understand. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. No, you no. know, because of my situation with your son. Yeah. Okay, now that I know the real. Yeah, and uh, yeah, oh, what I got to say, son, uh, what I'm looking at my paperwork, is two sons up in here. He's not the only son, that's the other one, the younger, you're the oldest brother. Well, she said, oh, that man ain't got no business going to jail. Well, maybe, oh, if she, hell, you guys don't have some kind of accountability, maybe you wouldn't be in front of me. So, son, you don't have a, a long record, so uh, bail is $5,000. You can go home after you meet the bail agreement. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Not so fast, Your Honor. Not so fast. He's guilty. He's guilty. He hit me and ran. It's a hit and run, Your Honor. No, not so fast. He's guilty. Okay, Your Honor, uh, I, I, I bought the next uh, person up, Your Honor, that you request. His dad requested that he come in here with him. He's shaking, he's nervous, he's coming here with him. Thank you very much, Bailey. This is case number 111121. And uh, I can see there that this is Exhibit A. Exhibit A shows that a person is, is, is look like they're trying to get a tire off. I couldn't tell whether you were trying to fix the tire or take the tire. Which one was it, little man? Uh, 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 you, you, you talking to me, Your Honor? Yes, sir, I am talking to you, young man. Speak up, speak up, young man. Well, Your Honor, you can see, I was coming at the store, Your Honor, and I saw some thieves, and I tried to catch them. I saw them stealing a tire, and I was trying to trying to keep them from stealing the tire, Your Honor. But they railroaded me. They got me down as being the thief. Uh, is that right? Are you serious, young man? When I go and look through your your files, you got you got some previous priors. Now you're not coming in here with your hands clean. This clearly shows that you. Uh -oh, what what do you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just looking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just looking. It looks like. I don't know what's going on with these tires, Your Honor. Look like is that you right there with the burgundy shirt on, young man? Yes, Your Honor. Well, it don't look like it look like you taking the tire off instead of returning the tire or trying to scare the thieves away. Which one is it? Your Honor, I got nothing else to say. I'll plead the fifth, Your Honor. Dad, do you have something to say? Well, I got a good son. And me and my wife, we don't believe that a black man should go to jail. Uh, even if they commit a crime, you don't believe a black man should go to jail. Okay, well, I'm going to decide on this case a little later. But right now, he can get out on bond. And little fella... You need to stay out of trouble, little fella. 
Yes, ma'am. Dad, do you have something to say? I thank you, Your Honor. We just don't believe that a black man should go to jail.